I bought this whetstone the day Bobby was born. I can't believe he's ready to sharpen his first mower blade. Son, you're a teenager now on your way to becoming a man. This will help you on the journey. Wow, I've always wanted one of these. No, no, stop that. This is for sharpening mower blades. You'll sharpen every Saturday, and when you've shown me you can handle the responsibility, you'll get to use those blades to mow the lawn. Okay. Hey, don't put that down there. <sighs> Oops, sorry. Dang it, Bobby. You're gonna rake leaves until that whetstone is paid off. And every Thursday, you're gonna bag them and drag them to the curb so they can be picked up by Garbageman Morehouse. How about he grabs the bags himself? He seems to like it, Dad. He's made a career of it. Start raking. Uh, what the? Uh, Bobby? Coming! Oh! Eh? I've been practicing all morning. That's it. You're grounded until you're ready to pick up those leaves. Okay. I mean it, mister. Can I take the rake with me? No. Dinner's ready. In a minute. Son, I'm sorry I had to come down hard on you, but you're... What are you doing? Just smelling stuff. Uh-huh. The clock radio smells like my Game Boy, but it tastes like my library card. I wonder if it smells different when it's on. So where's Bobby? I want to talk to someone while you work. He's grounded. Not that he cares. He's just sitting there, uh, smelling things in his room. Oh, that boy ain't right. Don't blame Bobby. You've been babying him ever since he was a baby. I don't baby him. I've explained responsibility to him a hundred times. Explain? You don't explain responsibility to a child. You pound it into them with steel-toed boots. Uh, well, I don't really know if you... I know, and I'll tell you. We gotta chisel the man out of the baby fat via the Fort Burke Academy. That's what worked for me. I always wanted to go to the Academy. And I wish I could have sent you. Unfortunately, you were such a bumbling moron, I couldn't vouch for you. I think I would have made a great cadet. Nah, you wouldn't have been no good. But if you'd gone, you'd know how to handle Bobby. Yep, even the Academy's two-week boot camp does more than most parents can do to their kids in a lifetime. Now, Bobby, he'd make a fine cadet. I do not know how Bobby gets this cape so wrinkled. Yeah, I don't know what to do about him either. What would you think about letting the instructors at Fort Burke take a crack at him? Cotton's old school? Sure. And then maybe this summer we can send him to Cotton's old POW camp. Peggy, I talked to the principal and he assured me that they are tough but not rough. He spent a long time on the phone explaining the distinction. Come on, today you're ironing his cape. If we don't take drastic action, tomorrow there'll be a top hat in the picture. Uh.